Yeah. There you go. Okay. It was wrong up once already. Turning your boarding path again. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Forty-one. Oh, that's even cheaper than last time. She said forty-two before. You're much better than she is. Yeah, you did it with a machine. I just wonder how <laughs> she managed to add an extra a euro on for me. So I get a euro back, don't I? She said the answer was 42. She obviously was... I mean, I find it amazing that you don't want to take lay. I mean, you've got to respect your own currency. It's got your kings and what have we you on it. We respect our own country, but the, the, currency. The, the government doesn't respect our country. Well, that's terrible. They, you want to kick them out and get a new one in. We try that. <laughs> 20 years we try to kick them out, but they don't want to get off. <laughs> you like did it okay with Ceausescu, you managed him very nicely. Yes, yes, yes. Time for it again, the I think. Government is, uh, yes. Paradise. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have you worked with Lay? They don't, play, they don't take Lay, you see. There you go. I'm in the airport. This is going to be the last film, so you'll see the airport and walking. Probably you're going to say you're making you seasick or something. All right. For those of you that get, I'm sorry. For those of you who get seasick, I'll take it out and try and walk with it a bit more calmly. But I got a little bit annoyed at uh, them not taking my remaining lay. But there was, I, I chose these stuff. I thought, okay, they can price it up in euro if they want to. But at least I'll pay in, in lay. Um, a little bit old-fashioned, not treating your currency as an exchangeable currency even when you're in the European Union. That's crazy. I mean, never imagined somebody doing something like that. I mean, even Bulgaria, the poorest country in Europe, you pay with Lev perfectly okay in the uh, airport. But the idea of having shops that only take euro, I mean, that's just, I think it's just a mafia thing, basically. It's just a way of making people be forced to pay their uh, euros, their lay back, and get a much worse rate here. Um, I got 20% worse rate here than the buying rate, so there you go, everything's actually dearer than you think. So uh, that's not very good, is it? And just to show you that it's nothing to do with real law or anything like that, like that guy said, there are other uh, businesses here that are selling in lay. It's just that particular business is, chooses not to um, and blames it on the government. Here, you see the prices are in lay, so... What difference is it? Still the same place, still the same side of the airport. They just don't respect their clients and obviously they see that they can get people to buy the gifts anyway. I wanted the gifts that they had so I bought them anyway. Prices were appalling but I didn't have any other alternatives. I didn't want to go home without any gifts. Here the question is asked, is there anything wrong with falling in love with your travel agent? Depends really whether it results in adultery or fornication or not. I don't know whether to add that answer to the bottom in, in a felt tip.